Today we're going to work on some upper body, some lower body, a bit of core, some cardio, some isometric holds are thrown in as well. Um, so we're going to get a nice session in that'll hit the whole body all together and finish off the week nicely, get the weekend in and then kick off again one day. So starting off, we're going to have a warm up first. As always, we're going to activate the muscle groups first. We're going to do some on the upper body, some on the lower body, then some more dynamic movements to really get you going. So our first two exercises for activation work are we're going to work the lower body first. It's a heel pump. So we're going to go into push up position. So down on the ground, hands in under the shoulders. You're going to pump your heels towards the ground. You get a nice activation along the calves. So working heel towards the ground for 30 seconds. After this, we're going to change. We're just going to hold a hand plank position. So down and just hold this position for 30 seconds. So down, keep the hips down and hold. Then you're back to heel pumps and back to hand plank. For our dynamic warm up, we're going to work the muscle groups a little more on the upper and lower body. So we're going to start off with body weight squats. So feet are just outside the hip, toes are pointed out slightly. We're going to squat down and up for 30 seconds from the side, feet out, down and up for 30 seconds. After that then, we're going to change into a lunge and a reach. So we're going to lunge out, knee down, reach up, back up and alternate onto the opposite side. From this side here, we're going to lunge out, back down and up. 30 seconds of that work then. After that then, we're going to go into our last dynamic form of exercise and that's going to be a shoulder tap. So it's push up position, feet back, hands in under the shoulder. You're going to slowly tap each side up and down from the side. We have hips down, touch, touch, touch. Now we get our upper body activated and dynamic warm up done, and we get kicked into the main session. All right, so for your first exercise in the total body session, we're gonna work through tempo squats. So this is like a body weight squat, but we're gonna add time under tension. So you're gonna be holding the squat position on the way down for two seconds, two full seconds, as in one Mississippi, two Mississippi, we can say that or whatever form you use for yourself. Two seconds down, then one second up. You're gonna work through that uh, for the set. So for the squat position again, feet are outside the hips, toes slightly pointed out, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, then drive up. So from the side, we have our one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and drive up. So it's a bit slower and it's going to add time under tension on the legs a bit. So you work through the range of reps on that, then you'll get exercises and plank ups. This is a great movement to work a bit of core and a lot of arms and chest as well. So we're going to start off on the ground in an elbow plank position. So your elbow will be right under your shoulder, your feet are back, your hips are down. From here, you're going to bring one hand back, replace your elbow, push up and back, down with the upside, replace the hand with the elbow and back down. So from the side, we're starting off, elbow plank position. You're gonna replace the elbow with your hand, push up, then back down, replace, and work through your reps from there. Okay, our next effort is going to be a glute bridge hold. So this is an isometric hold on our glutes, which is our backside. So we're gonna work through that for 30 seconds of a hold at the top of the movement. So for your setup, you're going to lie on the ground, your feet come in towards the bum, hands and back are on the ground, your knees are going to push up and out, and your hips are going to go towards the roof. So you're up and out, and you're going to hold the top position of this, squeezing your glutes for 30 seconds. Then you'll come back down. From the front, lie down, heels pull in, hands down, push up and out, and hold this position 30 seconds. And that's your glute. All right, so next up, we're going to work on our upper body. So we're going to do what's called a W to Y rep. So think of the letters W, and a Y. Okay, so we're going to work the body into that position. So we're going to start off on the ground, chest to ground. Your hands are on the ground like this. You want to pull your elbows right back, lift the hands off the ground. You're going to pull your scaps together, so pull your shoulder blades up. Then you're going to push out in what looks like a capital Y. Back, then release tension, but don't put your hands to the ground. And bring them back up again. Out, back in, down, but not to the ground. You're going to work through the range of reps on that, and that's your dog. Next up is a lower body movement, it's an alternating lunge. So, we're going to start off with feet shoulder width apart. From here, we're going to step back with one foot, back, keep your front knee over your ankle, pop the knee to the ground or just off the ground, stand back up. You're going to alternate between both legs for this movement. From the side, step back, back knee down, touch, and back up. So, you do a certain amount of reps on one side, a certain amount on the other side, and then you move on to the next exercise. 
we have a isometric hold for a last station. This is an upper body hold. Um, we're going to do what's called a half push up hold. So get down into your push up position. Hands are just shoulder width apart. From here, you're going to fold forward and you'll come down and you want to hold halfway in the movement. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds prescribed from the side, fold forward, down, and hold. Try and keep your shoulder in line with your elbow. If you let it come under, you're letting tension off. So you want to hold in that position for as long as possible. If you do come to the ground and you need to restart, that's fine. You can do this from your knees as well. There's no problem with that. Next up is our core set. So we're going to work 30 seconds each on three exercises. You're going to have 30 seconds rest and you're going to do four rounds all together. Our first exercise is called a McGill sit up. We're going to do this with our feet up. So feet are up, knees are just hinged out from your hip. Your ankles are in line with your knees and your toes are pointed back. Hands up towards the roof, and you're going to sit up and point your hands right up towards the roof. So you'll feel it right at the top of your core. Your second effort then is a heel tap. So you're going to bring your shoulders off the ground, and you're going to just scrunch your side down and tap your heel. So alternating taps for 30 seconds. Your last effort is a Russian twist. So your feet are off the ground. You want to get your hands together and rotate your core side to side. Don't focus on the hands moving, focus on your core twisting. For 30 seconds side to side, if it's too hard with your feet off the ground, just bring your feet onto the ground, keep a hinge back from your hip, and then focus on the twist for 30 seconds. And that's your core set for today. To finish off your total body session, we have a bit of cardio. So there's three exercises, 30 seconds in each one, 30 seconds rest, four rounds, so six minutes of cardio all together. Your first exercise is a squat drop. To start this position, you want your feet together to start, hands out, jump out, down, back in and out. So it's a squat drop on the side, feet together, jump out, sit down, back in and out. So get nice and quick and low for 30 seconds to get the heart rate up. Our second effort is going to be a fast mountain climber, so you're in your push-up position. Your knee is going to come to your same elbow, but we want to work fast. So nice and quick. So push-up position, knee to the same elbow, but working nice and quick to get your heart rate up. Your last effort then is going to be jumping jacks, feet together, hands down, jump in and out, nice and quick. You can really speed up jumping jacks when you try, so don't be afraid to go nice and quick on jumping jacks. It'll finish out the 90 second set nicely, give yourself a little rest, and stuck back in and finish off your workout.